to pour the dry yeast into one and one fourth cup of lukewarm water. So go ahead and do that, Emmy. And it's gonna have to dissolve. Oh, hold on. Okay, next we have to add the dough mix and the yeast water mixture together. So we're gonna, whoa. <laughs> Yeah. Okay, that's the dough. No, don't touch it. Why am I just gonna touch it? No, no touch it. Now we're gonna it. add the water. Why am I yucky? Whoa! Okay, now we're gonna add the mix. Okay, mix it with our mixing bowl. Just because it's better to do it that way than trying to do it by hand. Stir it up. To the number two. Oh! And we want to stir it up until a ball of dough forms. sticky and then you're just going to knead it for about five to seven minutes. So now we're going to let it sit in this bowl and let the yeast and the dough rise for 30 minutes. Okay, so now that your dough is ready, you're going to lay out the dough and then cut them into strips. And then you can kind of stretch and pull the dough so that it's long and skinny like that. Then you're going to turn it into like a U shape and then twist at the top and then twist it a couple more times and then tuck that under. And now you've made a pretzel shape. And pretzels. <laughs> and then you're just gonna do that a bunch more times. So next you just dunk each of the pretzels very quickly into the baking soda and water mixture. Just dunk them very quick. And then the next step is we're gonna bake them. Now we're gonna bake them for about five to seven minutes at 425. Now we're gonna dribble the melted butter on each one like this. Mmm, mmm, yum. And the 
my pretzel is uh, yummy. I'm going to have another one. Mm. And if you like this video, subscribe down below. And have a thumbs up.